Ukrainian President Zelensky arrived in Rome on a Thursday as part of a European tour aimed at securing more military and financial support from Western countries as U.S. aid hangs in balance ahead of the next presidential election in November. As we know, Ukraine faces its toughest winter since the beginning of the full-scale invasion in 2022. Zelensky has had a full schedule in Europe. Early on Thursday, he met with a British Prime Minister Starmer and a NATO Secretary General Mark Rutte in London. He outlined what has been described as his victory plan to defeat Russian forces. The plan was expected to be uh, presented at a meeting in Germany this week, but the meeting was later postponed uh, after U.S. President Joe Biden had to cancel his visit. But the plan has been pretty much at the center of Zelensky's discussions in European capitals. Uh, later the same day, Zelensky uh, traveled to Paris, where he met with uh, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron, who reaffirmed France's commitment to support Ukraine. On Thursday evening, Zelensky arrived here in the Italian capital at around 9 p.m. He met with Italy's Prime Minister Giorgio Meloni. The two held a bilateral meeting and later joined a press conference, during which Meloni reiterated Italy's support for Ukraine, both in the military and in the energy sectors. Zelensky confirmed that he introduced his uh, plan to Giorgio Meloni as well as part of the plan. We know that Zelensky is seeking approval to use long-range weapons uh, deep inside Russia. This has been a controversial topic among countries supporting Ukraine. We know that Italy's government has been opposing the use of Italian weapons in Russia. On Friday, Zelensky is scheduled to have an audience with Pope Francis in the Vatican and later the same day he's traveling to Germany to meet with German Chancellor Schultz. Giorgio Orlandi for Euronews in Rome.